Okay, the bike is loaded up. It is four hours and three minutes to Nimbin. Pretty little town. Dang, bro. Yep. Better watch out, people will drift right into you. Look at big homie up front. He's carrying a major wide load. Alright, the road's getting worse. <laughs> looks like they're doing some whoa, looks like they're doing some work up here. Lots of gravel. And laying. I don't know, are they laying fresh tar over there? Let's see. Alright, we did it. Once you get rural in Vietnam, it looks like it's just industrialized. Lots of smokestacks. Lots of smokestacks here. And we're still in Heilong province, but not for much longer. I got the mad helmet hair. All right. Cho Chao Lin. I just saw it on the side. So I decided to uh, pull over. Wow. I'll try to be quick here. Look at that. This here. Hopefully my bag is safe. It's not only strapped, but it's padlocked to the bike. Wow.
Wow. Check that out. Holy cow. We got a monk with a pressure washer. You don't see that every day. Huh? Can I? I think this says no shoes. Let's come around this way. I don't want to take my shoes off. I just want to uh, poke the camera in real quick. Wow. Check that out. This is the first temple I've actually seen here in Vietnam. In Thailand there. Every 50 yards. Wow. Lots of statues. This is Budai. And these are some mausoleums. It's like of some military people. Wow. And they're building even more. really cool to uh, stop and take a look at. I need to get back on the road. Let's hit it. the halfway mark here. Cruising through a little town. Maybe I'll stop and get some grub here. Get opportunity. Oh look. A little lingerie shop. Let's buy some panties. Long neck coffee. That's coffee. Coffee could be good. Oh, oh, cafe. Uh, let's see. Did we miss our shot already to get food. <laughs> Is the town over? I think the town's over. Shit. This guy's trailer is about to F off to the next town over any minute. Look at this. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at that horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I have stopped for some fur. I found somebody who's open. So hopefully it's good. The last time I did it was okay. Uh, I do want to say the pollution on this drive is very rough in this industrial reason, region. I have got a headache coming on because it's like the smell of burning plastic and trash and stuff in the air is just constant. It's been about 10 minutes of fresh air since I got away from the beach. Uh, look at this. Some sort of big root. Wow, it looks like Cthulhu. <laughs> well, it doesn't get much more Vietnamese than Red Bull and Pho on the side of the road. better than the last one. So I wish the noodles were less cooked. But I think they like them really soft. But if they were just a little bit harder, 
be a lot better. But it doesn't take away from the flavor, it's just the texture thing. Okay, I'm just out of a side of a town called Nin Din, which is 30 minutes away from Nin Bin. I've just booked my hotel because I had to go get some gas and take the biggest piss of my entire life because I've been holding it literally since the fur. Like two minutes after I left, I had to pee and I didn't want to stop again. Uh, so why not kill uh, two birds with one stone? Wow, this helmet. <laughs> I can't get over my helmet hair. Anyway. Uh, we are down to the last leg of the journey and it's almost dark so I need to hurry up so I don't have to drive at night for too long. I'm 31 minutes away. That could be longer or shorter depending on traffic. Uh, this drive has been very interesting. I can describe it as fun, exhilarating, and a shit show. Um, just because you have the signal to go doesn't mean nobody else is going. Just because you're on the right side of the road doesn't mean everybody else is. Uh, just because the speed limit is 60 or 70 or 80 doesn't mean there won't be a geezer riding his bicycle or some little kids riding an electric scooter. Um, the rules of the road here are seemingly totally unenforced. The traffic police are smoking major stogies and not giving a crap. I don't really care, but... Uh, <laughs> It's very interesting. For the most part, people are stopping at uh, stoplights, but I'd say 10 or 15% of people really don't care. If they're on motorcycles, cars are always stopping at lights, which is good. The roundabouts are freaking crazy. I don't know what the hell the rules are on that. Uh, anyway, time to get back on the road. Made it to Nimbin after about 
five hours and 40 minutes of travel. That last half hour in the dark was not good. <laughs> I had just previously mentioned geezers on their bikes going the wrong way. Well, imagine that, but in the dark. <laughs> and you can't see anybody. And about 40% of the people have no tail lights on their bike. And 5% of those have no lights at all. So they're totally invisible. And then a bunch of people are driving with their brights on. So they blind you. And when you have your, your face shield down, you have glare, so you're even more blind. And then, if you don't have your face shield on, you get blasted in the eyes by a bunch of sand from a big truck. So you're even more blind. <laughs> so, I'd say visibility was minimum <laughs> to uh, minimal, to put it nicely. However, it's been a fun day. The weather's mostly been good. The last hour has been freezing. I forgot to put my gloves on at the uh, gas station. Regretting that, my hands are like popsicles. My fingers are gonna break off like SpongeBob when he was all dried out. Other than that, I'm feeling good. Getting a little bit hungry. But I gotta say, Ninbin, Ninbin, looks like a pretty little town. So I'm excited to maybe explore a little bit tonight, or at least go get some dinner after I warm up, charge my, charge my gadgets. And uh, after that, I will uh, spend all day tomorrow uh, exploring this little town. Alrighty, let's see, I got 500 feet till I turn right. Getting really close to my hostel. I booked a dorm tonight. It's about $6, I think, for the night. And tomorrow night, so two nights actually I get for $6. Which is a great price. Oh, we got a guy reversing. He doesn't know how to parallel park. Fuck. <laughs> Turn that wheel, dog. You gotta slam the wheel, bro. You can't just fucking cruise. <laughs> Alright, I turn right here. And then it's down this little alley. Van Gogh, aha, Backpackers Hostel, that is me, wow. a mission and a half. Party pimps. That's the end of that. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow or I don't know, whenever the next video is. Peace out.